What up, y'all? It's your guy Dawson from D&D TV. Thank you for rating, commenting, and subscribing. Everybody who's donated, those of you all who will, all that information is in the description box below. Also, go over to my other YouTube channel, Dawson Speaks TV. Make sure you subscribe over there and hit that little bell so you get notifications when I drop a new video. Now, let's get into this topic. Now, this video is for educational purposes, so as I approach this topic with respect, I need you all to please, please, please be respectful in my comment section. Thanks. All right, now this story comes out of Illinois, DeKalb County. Now, you all remember the story I did last month on Pastor Apostle Dr. Corey D. Butler, who was sentenced last month to 14 years in prison for distributing inappropriate images of minors. Well, a lot of his supporters sent me messages wanting to let me know, Dawson, Dawson, the pastor has come out. He's out. He's all the way out. He's no longer in prison. So I looked up the story and I saw for myself that Pastor Apostle Dr. Corey D. Butler was released. Now, I know his supporters and the church members, you all were happy to let me know that the pastor was out. You all were so happy and eager to let me know. But I want to ask you all a question, supporters, church members, friends of the pastor. Has the case been dismissed? Has the pastor's record been expunged? Take a breath. Now, I'm not surprised that he's out of prison because if you all remember, Pastor Apostle Dr. Corey D. Butler, who's also a father himself, was originally charged in 2015. And from 2015 up until last month, December 2022, court proceedings over the years had been fraught with delays and challenges by Pastor Apostle Corey D. Butler's defense attorneys as to whether he was fit to stand trial or not. Also, keep in mind that the pastor has gone through three attorneys during the duration of this case. So there were many delays in this case. And don't forget, we went through the pandemic and that further delayed things. So to his supporters and church members, I'm not surprised that the pastor is out. But your pastor did do it. Remember, he admitted to the police when it happened in 2015, the officers testified in court that at the time of his arrest, he admitted to sending inappropriate images, and they confiscated all his electronic devices, and basically they found the evidence. Now, I will be following this case closely, and I will let you all know if there are any updates. I mean, them supporters, oh, Dawson, he out, he out, I passed out. I mean, what y'all think, I'm going to run from the story because they let him out? You know how the justice system is when it comes to some victims and people. And plus, they're probably looking at, well, it's been since 2015. And now, come on, y'all. They letting a lot of these people get off with stuff like this. So I'm not running from the story. I'm going to report on it. The pastor is out. Now, look here. A man that watched the video I did on Pastor Apostle Dr. Corey D. Butler sent me a very poignant message. The man told me that he dated Pastor Apostle Dr. Corey D. Butler for a short time. He told me that he did not know about the charges Pastor Apostle Dr. Corey D. Butler had, nor did he know that Pastor Apostle Dr. Corey D. Butler was a pastor slash apostle. Take a breath. <laughs> oh, y'all gonna have to breathe today. <laughs> y'all gonna have to breathe. We got a lot to get into. Now, the man was very emotional. He was hurt by this, y'all. He was hurt. So I asked the man, well, how did you meet Pastor Apostle Dr. Corey D. Butler? And he told me that they met on the BLK dating app. The man said that on the BLK app, the pastor's profile, he just went by Dr. Corey D. Butler. And in the profile section, it says that he's an educator and he oversees schools. And I asked the man, how could he be an overseer of school with those charges? Even if it was in 2015, it's still on his record. And then he told me that it was one of, you know, the charter schools, those optimist schools, second chance schools. And, you know, they let everybody work there. Now, you all follow me. The man had just watched the video I did, and he did not know that Pastor Apostle Dr. Corey D. Butler was Pastor Apostle. And the man said that he did not get a churchy or a preachy vibe from him and that when they met that the pastor was touchy-feely and almost sexually aggressive and he always wanted to do things over FaceTime. Allegedly. Take a breath. The pastor, you're so quick to send pictures when the man asks you, how is your day? And here are you. I'm at work, LOL. And the man said, oh my God, why you at work, LOL? Go home. And the pastor says, because I don't have a best friend to make me. Take a breath. 
Now, y'all know I know what that is. The pastor said, because I don't have a boyfriend to make me. The pastor told the man, you need to come by with the Amazon outfit and give you a massage or I'll give you a massage. And then the man said, yes, LOL. And the pastor said, you might get more than a massage, though. And the man said, oh, really? Like what? And the pastor replied, cuddles, kisses, rubs, and sucks. Cuddles, kisses, rubs, and sucks. Now, I forgot to say take a breath. I hope some of y'all still with me. Some of y'all probably passed out. But this is what's going on in the Lord's church. Cuddles, kisses, rubs, and sucks. Wait, Queen, somebody go get Kaya. Kaya, come make a song out of this. Cuddles, kisses, rubs, and sucks. Y'all, I can't make this stuff up. Now, Pastor and the man went to the park. And Pastor told the man, I so enjoyed that walk around Hyde Park. Pastor, what y'all doing in the park? You trying to cuff it? Pastor at Hyde Park trying to cuff it. You trying to cuff it, Pastor? Walking through Hyde Park, making you see stars. Pastor gonna touch you on your leg. He wants to give you some head. Pastor feel like falling in love. Yeah. Pastor in the mood to gobble it up. <laughs> Let me stop. Now, the man told me that they ended their dating because the pastor was very demeaning and basically he couldn't take it, allegedly. And I told the man, I said, well, hey, you dodged a bullet. I told the man, I said, look, the pastor was not married and I don't think he had a girlfriend. He said, but in their last conversation, the pastor said that he was going back to dating women because dating men is too much work for him. Take a breath. Woo, y'all church people, church people, church people. Now, I know some of you are saying, Dawson, if you could research on Pastor Apostle Corey D. Butler and find out all this information on him, why couldn't this man do it? And according to the man, you know how y'all get. Some of you all, men, women and men, when you all meet somebody and you like them, you don't do your due diligence. You don't do any background checks. And that's what happened in this situation. And the man also said that he lives in another town and he didn't know anyone who knew Pastor Apostle Corey D. Butler. So there you have it. You all, it's 2023. Be careful out there when you're on these dating apps. All right. And do a background check on people that you're dating. And I mean that. I want you all to hear me on that. I want all my subscribers. I have some of everybody on this platform who comes and watch this show. I want you all to really take this to heart, no matter who you are. If you're gay, lesbian, heterosexual, bisexual, pansexual, asexual, even though asexual people, they won't be doing none, but they probably still want companionship and they may get online too. You all do a background check on these people that you're meeting up with, that you're dating because it's, it's getting crazy out here. All right, now I'm off of this. I'm off of this for real now. I'll keep you all up to date. As I said in the beginning, I'm going to keep you up to date on this case. I'm following it closely. And who knows? By the next update I do, Pastor Apostle Dr. Corey D. Butler, he might have a wife. Man might, you know, go out and get him a wife. Who knows? You know how y'all church people do. <laughs> Until next time, it's your guy Dawson. Take care of yourself and each other. Go off in the comments. Let me know what you think of this video. Peace.